Jane, how are you doing today? Oh, hey, I'm good. I've just been studying since 6 a.m. Wow, how are you so productive at 6 in the morning? Well, my secret is I take Adderall and I can't concentrate without it. I feel so focused and efficient and I can get everything done. I don't think I can keep my 3.9 GPA without it. Wow, that sounds like a magic pill. Are you sure it's not addictive though? Um, maybe we should look more into it. Addiction is a condition in which a person engages in the use of a substance or in a behavior for which the rewarding effects provide a compelling incentive to repeatedly pursue the behavior despite detrimental consequences. Addiction may cause the excessive use of substances such as alcohol, cocaine, or nicotine and engagement in behavior such as gambling. Adderall is classified as an amphetamine, which is considered a stimulant and increases the activity of certain chemicals in the brain. Interestingly enough, another example of a drug classified as an amphetamine is commonly known as crystal meth. Meth and Adderall have very similar chemical compounds. Adderall is one methyl group away from being meth. Both meth and Adderall are addictive, so what separates them? How is one allowed to be prescribed and the other is illegal? The two drugs are similar chemically, but the extra methyl group on the meth makes a big difference. It allows it to cross the blood-brain barrier faster, making the drug much more potent. This makes it easier to cause severe damage to the brain and causes addictions to occur much more rapidly. Usually Adderall is prescribed to those who have Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. Adderall is used to increase the availability of neurotransmitters in the brain, such as dopamine and norepinephrine. Dopamine and norepinephrine are responsible for increasing energy levels, alertness, and attention. For individuals who abuse this drug, it can create boosted energy and intense invigoration. Adderall can create feelings of euphoria for individuals without ADHD. It is important to understand that this does not make you any more intelligent than you already are. Therefore, abusing it to study will not equal better performance. Short-term side effects can include appetite suppression and unhealthy weight loss, irritability, hostility, dry mouth, feelings of restlessness, heart palpitations, and potentially dangerous cardiac issues. Long-term side effects can include erratic behavior, paranoia, malnutrition, vitamin deficiencies, physiological disorders, irregular heartbeat, and increased heart attack risk, abnormal blood pressure levels, and of course, addiction. In 2012, 16 million prescriptions were written for Adderall, and that same year, over 116,000 people were admitted into rehab for addiction to amphetamines such as Adderall. It has been seen that full-time college students are twice as likely to abuse Adderall than their peers who aren't in college. Young adults between the age of 18 and 25 made up 60% of those using Adderall for non-medical reasons. According to the Yale Tribune, college students who abuse ADHD stimulants have a lower GPA than their counterparts who do not. I don't think I realized until now, but I might have an Adderall addiction. Where do I go from here? How can I be productive without it? Uh, the first thing I think that I would highly recommend is stop taking Adderall. And I think it was last week that I was reading an article about cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, that it actually helped a lot with the Adderall addiction. It is a problem-solving technique that helps with dysfunctional beliefs, emotions, and even behavior. And I think it will be very helpful in changing your negative thoughts to positive behavior. Okay, where can I access this CBT? Uh, I think McMaster Student Wellness Center has it accessible to all students. And I think I can search up the helpline number for it as well, which is, I think, 1-8-6-5-3-1-2-3-4. Two six zero zero. I think you should really access this number. Perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. If you're leaning on Adderall for stress that much, I think there are some ways that you can reduce your stress or manage it effectively. Uh, the first thing that I would recommend is getting a good six to eight hours of sleep per night. Uh, maybe try exercising or doing some weightlifting at the gym. Uh, talk to a friend. I'm just a phone call away. Or maybe try meditating to convert your uh, negative thoughts to positive thoughts. Thank you so much. I don't know what I'd do without you. And I'm going to start trying to use my own abilities to totally. yeah.